Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in this video we'll be taking a look on MIUI 10 for OnePlus 5 and 5T. Also huge thanks to XDS senior members who have made it possible and now they have ported this ROM for OnePlus 5 and 5T devices before global release. And this ROM is based on Chinese Vita ROM so it will have Chinese bloatways available and there won't be Google applications pre-installed. But I'll put up a complete guide in the description below by which you can install Google applications on MIUI 10 on your OnePlus 5 and 5T devices along with all the required files. And in this video I'll also be showing you what all things are working on this ROM and what all bugs we have. First let me show you the software information going to settings my device as you can see MIUI version 8.6.7 which is in MIUI 10 under all specs. Android version is 8.0 with a security patch of 1st May 2018. And first let me show you play services are working fine means the Google Play Store and if you download any application there are no issues in downloading that specific application. So now moving on to the UI and they have got a new UI design on the MIUI 10 as you can see this is a new quick setting panel. If you drag it a little more you have rounded icons available on the quick setting panel along with a thick brightness slider in which brightness is working fine. Same design is for volume panel and you can manually adjust the ringtone, alarm tone and the notification tone. You also have a do not disturb mode in which you can start the countdown time and keep it from half an hour to 8 hours. Recent panel is also redesigned and now you have a side by side applications available. And if you long press any of these applications you get option to lock the application, multi screen or the split screen then you get option of app info. You can remove it by swiping towards your right or the left. On the home screen, swiping towards your right hand side gives you option of smart assistant where you can add many shortcuts. Along with that at bottom you get an artificial intelligence, there is a mic available. You tap this and as of now this is only supporting Chinese language. To avoid this error you need to sign in into your MI account. So not going much into features of MIUI 10 because I have already made few videos related to features and now talking about the things what are working and what are not working. So now let's move on to the camera application. Here you get two camera applications available as you can see and in this camera application only you can click pictures. Rest nothing is working but if you want to click any picture you can click that. That too only with the back camera. If you switch to front camera you can see you get camera error and this will close the camera application. And you cannot even record the videos. So if you go to video recording you start recording here it will show you that video is being recorded once you stop it won't be available here. So video recording is again an issue. Moving inside the settings here Bluetooth services, portable hotspot, Wi-Fi everything is working fine except Geo services. In SIM cards and mobile network you can see you have an option of Volt enabled but if you make any calls the services are not working you can only use mobile data. And there are no issues in adding MI account, you can add MI account and access theme store and other stuff. Under lock screen and password you don't get an option of face unlock but the fingerprint sensor is working fine. You can also lock the applications and these applications can be unlocked using your fingerprint sensor which was not available in the previous build of MIUI 10. Things like dual app, second space and app lock feature having no issues. And to remove the Chinese application, I have used system app remover from which I have removed almost all the Chinese applications which were available. This ROM comes pre-installed with Magisk Manager so you don't have to separately root it. And if you guys want to use this ROM along with Google App Package, you can find the guide in the description below. And if you don't use much of camera and fold services then this room can be used as daily driver. There are no heating issues or any lags. So guys that's it in this video. Do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. And thanks for watching. Peace out.